Yo, what is going on guys? This is a gameplay of my buddy Havix. I'll have his link in the description because this was just a great video and uh, a great gameplay from him. So I figured I'd use his. I was in this game. I didn't do that good. Havix carried us, I have to say. But um, I wanted to talk about the recent drama with CSGO and surrounding it, you know, with the YouTubers and the gambling and stuff. And... Uh, as most of you know, if you follow the gambling scene, Valve is uh, kind of shutting it down completely because they uh, they finally got fed up with it because, you know, they don't want skins to have monetary value. And what I mean by that is they want the skins to be worth Steam money but not real money. And, you know, sites like OP Skins <coughs> and other skins, excuse me, you, or other sites use... PayPal and stuff to sell skins for real money, and they don't want that. They're sh shutting down OP skins and all those other sites that uh, use real money to sell skins to. They're not only shutting down gambling sites, but they're shutting those down too. And uh, that's really going to affect a lot of YouTubers, a lot of your big YouTubers that are into CSGO. Basically just stream them gambling and then make videos out of it. And, uh, you know, you can't do that anymore. So they're either going to have to develop a personality or they're going to have to get good at the game. I mean, you know, they, they really have nothing going for them except that they make videos of them losing a bunch or winning a bunch of money. And, uh, you know, now that that's gone, I don't know what some of them are going to do. I'm not going to call out any names because uh, YouTube has been cracking down on you uh, saying things about other YouTubers. But, uh, you know, if they can't gamble, what are they going to do? Because they, that's all they do. But, um, yeah, I've been gone for a while. I really haven't felt like making YouTube videos. I'm sorry for that. But uh, my channel has been growing, and I've been getting a lot of views and a lot of good feedback. Right now, my CS, my frame rates are, like, lagging when I record, and I don't know why I'm going to have to get that fixed because I can't play when my FPS drops like crazy when I'm playing and I start recording. Uh, I don't know what that's all about, but uh, I need to get that situation fixed uh, pretty soon. I've uh, been gone this week on vacation again. I've been gone to the beach, and uh, that's where I've been up until yesterday. I got back yesterday around 3 or 4 o'clock, and uh, I've just been playing CS since I got back, really. Just getting you know back to playing again since I've took a week off and uh, I, I haven't been playing that bad. I've been playing pretty good honestly. I had a really good game with Havoc a second ago. We just uh, didn't have the best of teammates. Our uh, our teammate went 2 and 15 so that was the downfall of us unfortunately. But yeah, uh, uh, the gambling thing really won't affect me that much. I don't do much gambling anymore. I have about all the skins that I want. I just trade. But uh, they're also shutting down CSGO Lounge, which is really going to affect the, uh, you know, the whole competitive watching scene because, as we all know, you can bet your skins on the outcome of the games, and they're taking that out. So all these small matches like Sweden versus all this, you know, little matches that nobody really cares about that only gets views because people are betting on them, they're really going to take a hit because... No one's going to watch them if they don't have money riding on the outcome of it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with CS. People think that the skins are going to drop in value and be worth nothing and you need to sell them now before it's all, you know, said and done. But uh, if I if, if my skins lose value, you know, it's it's whatever, you know. The it, I got like a $600 inventory and honestly I would rather keep it and risk it losing its value than to sell it for like 400 on OP skins because I mean I, I really don't care to be honest it, it's whatever if, if the skin values crash then they'll crash and if they don't then they won't but uh, I'd say they will take a hit but as far as crashing I, there's no way they could legit crash because no matter if gambling goes or not, skins are still going to be rare and worth money. So, Havoc ended up going 31 and 10. Big shout out for him. Uh, check out his channel. I'll leave it in the description. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.